What's up, Brad Aiden Johnson here with an email reply. Hey, what's up, Brad? That's me. I stumbled on your refeed video on YouTube. That refeed video. <laughs> that refeed video. And I decided to follow you on Instagram. Cool. Quick question if you have time. I'm 21, 5 foot 11, 170 pounds with a 13% body fat. Question is, I'm cutting right now, and sometimes I feel like when I get to a lower body fat, I may look skinny and makes me want to bulk up again. I decided to cut down until I'm around 9% body fat and then bulk up parts of no further than 11 to keep track of my fat. I work out each body part twice a week, one rest day, let me know your opinion. Thanks a lot, man. Well, this is an easy video. Seems all good to me, man. Um, when you cut, if you're concerned about looking thin when you cut, it means that one or two things, and probably both, um, you're not at a very high muscle mass, um, um, lean muscle mass, and also you're at too high a body fat percentage. So, what you should just do is ignore the first one, focus on the second one, get rid of that fat. There's, fat is no good to you if we're talking about aesthetics here. It's no good to you. Just get rid of it and cleanly bulk from there. Um, the One of the points of aesthetic for cutting is that the, as you cut, you will get to this point where you're getting thinner, you're getting thinner, but once you go past this little point where you're just getting smaller really because you're cutting that excess body fat and you start feeling definition, all of a sudden you start looking. It's a secret, right? You start looking bigger. All of 2012, I spent that time losing weight every single week, almost without fail. And all people kept telling me as I got to the point where you know my abs started showing striations, whatever they can. Wow, you're getting real big. You're getting big. You're so big, huge. Me big? I'm not big. But when you start losing all those that fat around you and all you can see is muscle and you have been lifting following a good program and you're eating sensibly and not just trying to lose as much weight as possible you're actually cutting to a good level doing it correctly the right way that I teach you will look bigger it's a secret of cutting it's the whole point it's why a lot of the times you'll see a fitness model and if he's not like and if you'll see a fitness model you'll be like wow he's in fantastic shape if he moves slightly out of his like perfect shape he'll just look like a regular dude but when he's cut he looks huge all the muscles start popping, but like when he's just a little bit bigger, because he's not a huge, like maybe a competitive bodybuilder type, you know, Jay Cutler, when he Coleman size, um, he just looks like a regular dude. But when he cuts down, he's like, whoa, it's huge. It's just the way it works. When you see muscles, they look bigger. You know, if you've got fat around them, you just, and you're not massive, they don't look massive. They just look like arms. So, my advice to you, cut, cut until you're happy, and then cleanly bulk back up. Some people give different advice, some people say bulk first and whatever. We're over here for aesthetics, so cut it down, that's what I say. Because if you have, like, for instance, yeah, I could do like you know, this, like, you know, I don't, you know, I'm not a big fan of my biceps, I don't think they're in anything, right? If this is this size, right, nothing to scream home about, right, we've just got these arms. When I get cut to the point where you see striations all running down here and stuff, you're going to look at the exact same arm that will literally be smaller and it'll just look bigger. It's just the way it works. Like when you see chest striations, it makes the chest look bigger, even if there's actually less chest there. It's just how it happens. So cut first, do exactly what you say. I read your email. Your email sounds like everything you're doing is right. You've got all these good numbers, it's a good email. You're doing the right thing. You've asked for advice, but you don't need it because you're on point. So hopefully this has been some help to you to carry on doing as you've been doing. Brandon and Justin at gmail.com. If you've got any queries or theories or suggestions or anything, let me know. Other than that, like the video, like my Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and of course, subscribe. Peace.